Uh, so I'm glad you enjoyed the eclipse. I'm uh, we happy to it. have arranged it for you. Thank you. <laughs> so lovely of you. For every interview I, I conduct, I mm -hmm. ask the person yes. if, because it's not every day they're like hanging out with an astrophysicist. And I just wonder, is there some question you have harbored in yourself that you've never had the right person around you to answer about the universe? This would be that time. Okay, I have one that you're probably gonna think is silly, but no. whatever. Um, I do, I, I have always wondered, because have you ever had like astrology or numerology or any of that kind of stuff? Like, have you ever had people do that to you? I mean, obviously, right? Like, all the time. Yeah, and you're like, <laughs> silliness. <laughs> but I'm just saying, do you all think the there's any, <laughs> all the time, you don't think there's any merit to like, maybe the season that you're born in, or do you think there's any weight in that at all? Of like, of like you know what I'm saying? Like, a time or like, even the emotional state of a mother, if it's a time of war, if it's a time of, you know, whatever it is, do you think that any of that plays out? Or, That's or like a tour, being a tourist, being, when's your birthday? If you're into this stuff, then you should just know. I don't know your <laughs> There you go, and therefore I you can't. No. Uh, so, uh, I, that's a great question, by okay. the way. So, holding aside all the stuff that is summarily rejected by all scientific yeah, experiments. Yeah, well, a lot of it's just to buy the book. Right, like yeah. just hold, just, just, yeah. Just hold that at bay for a moment. Yeah. You can imagine long ago where if you're born in the spring or the summer or the fall or the winter, as a child, you would have different access to nutrients of the food that grew on the farm. Absolutely. So if you were born like the wrong time of the year, you might be a sickly child. Yeah. And because the food was already eaten or it was yeah. spoiled by then or you're yeah, not ready. Out of season. So you can imagine asserting before anyone knew anything about nutrition. Mm -hmm. Think about this. We take vitamins because we studied vitamins. There are Nobel Prizes for each one of those vitamins that were discovered. Yeah. Okay. They're modern things. Yeah. People didn't know about vitamins, not explicitly. Yeah. They knew some foods kept you more healthy than others. But go far enough back, you would say, oh, I was born in February when the sun was over here, therefore I will have this personality trait. So you can imagine circumstances yeah. of, of, uh, nature, and nurture. of, of like. nature and nurture come together mm -hmm. that could influence what kind of a person you might end up being. Yeah. Okay. But that has nothing to do with the sun, moon, and stars. It has everything to do with the nutrition of where and when you were born. I, okay. Right. And so, but let's go a little further back. You can imagine, here you are, uh, let's go back to Egypt. Mm -hmm. And Ooh, I love where we're and okay. the star and the star Sirius mm -hmm. is rising just before the sun mm -hmm. in the morning sky. Dawn. Dawn. <laughs> and Cleopatra says <laughs> and, and they say, because Sirius, the star Sirius, the dog star, is visible at this time of day. Right in the early morning, the Nile will rise. Oh, so then it becomes, yeah, it's not, See, yeah, it's you, trickery. Yeah, you, 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 you're at the center of all this moving yeah. sky. Yeah. So clearly the universe knows about you. Yes. And it's keeping you healthy and it knows I need the Nile to no, flood now to irrigate the- egocentric of humans. There yes. it is. It yeah. is so egocentric. Yeah. It, 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 and it's still egocentric. People saying, oh, Mars is in retrograde, therefore my life is affected by that. You think Mars- Oh, I think that's You, crap, you think Mars yeah. gives a rat's ass about you? <laughs> I love that. Just saying. Yes, okay. I love that. No, wait, so wait, so you're just, you think like with astrology, it's more for like mapping it out and finding your way and is that what you- In the day- what do you think of the stars? What do you think are helpful for us? What do you think they're there for? Like, what do you, you know what I'm saying? Like, do you think people navigated by them? Helpful, yes. Yeah. 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 Now they're not as helpful you as you just think they're pretty. As don't GPS, you? yeah. I think they're scientifically interesting, and they're gorgeous. Yes. Yeah. Um, so they, they help people navigate, and yeah. and I have books where it says, "Oh, isn't it great? God put these stars in this way to help me find my destination." Again, it's an assertion it, that the it, entire it, universe it interest, yeah, orbits the, or narcissistic, you. Yeah. yeah. And this is part of the cosmic perspective where you learn, no, the universe is not about you. You're yeah. about you. Yeah. And you have some control over that. Yeah. But the universe is not about you. And the sooner you learn that, the less your ego will interfere with your domination over others that you might feel that you yeah. deserve. Yeah. Simply because you're at the center and others aren't. And then why are you trying to dominate? Like what's lacking? Yeah, what is going on yeah. there? Yeah. It's like the older man with the sports car. You're like, 
What are you making up for? <laughs> what's, what's, what, what are, are you, you compensating for? What are you compensating for? Just you know at the time, it, just so you know, because I'm a guy, so I have to yeah. defend guys. <laughs> not defend, but let me explain this away. So a guy at middle age yes. has generally vastly more income than when they were starting out. Absolutely. So right about when they might want the sports car, they actually have the money to afford it. And they're freaking out because they're 40. They, <laughs> I, but I assure you, at age 18, if they could have afforded the sports car, yes. they would have. Yeah. Without any so reference. So y'all just would have always been a toll. We, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm totally kidding. I've owned sports cars. I'm totally kidding. No, no, I'm just saying. No, I'm totally kidding. The, the, the guy's finally getting the sports car they, he couldn't afford earlier in life. Yes. 